Back in Borderlands 2, there was this unique weapon that came from the raid boss, Terramorphus, called the Teeth of Terramorphus. It was a banded shotgun that always came in fire, and when you fired it, the pellets came out as teeth that would bite down at a certain distance. It was a pretty cool weapon. Not very good, but pretty cool. In Borderlands 3, you can get a very similar version of the weapon, except it's a lot better, and it's tied to a pretty awesome easter egg. So, how can you get this weapon? Well, you're going to want to go over to Conrad's Hold on Pandora, and go to this spot on the map. You can't see it on mine since I already completed it, but there will be a side quest here, coming out of a robot's head. The quest is called Demon in the Dark. This quest will take you on a little mini adventure to find an old Iridian city and the robot adventurers who once sought it out. I don't want to spoil the quest for those of you who want to be surprised, but the quest is a Lord of the Rings easter egg. When you complete it, you will be rewarded with a torque weapon called the Chomper. As far as I know, it can only come in fire, and that's because it's a reference to the Balrog in A Lord of the Rings, and the Balrog is basically a big fire demon. Now, unlike a lot of Torg weapons, this one doesn't have an alternate firing mode that fires out stickies. It only has its base firing mode, but like I said with the Teeth of Terra, this weapon fires its pellets out like teeth that bite down. Unlike the Teeth of Terra though, the pellets explode when they bite down, and they bite down twice. Also, I'm not really positive if mine was bugged or something, but the upper left pellet goes forward and doesn't bite down. That could have been them making it like that on purpose, but if it is, then that's pretty weird. So a few quick things before I talk about the gun. As far as these weapon guides go, I'm only going to be using Mayhem 3 gameplay going forward. I used to use both Standard and Mayhem gameplay, but most people only care about Mayhem. Understandably so. Also, as far as the gameplay goes, unless I specifically state otherwise, always assume that I'm using modifiers that don't buff or nerf the gun I'm using in any way. I go for modifiers like that so you guys can see how good the weapon is at base so nothing is misleading. Alright, back to the gun. So this gun is pretty powerful. I was quite surprised because the Teeth of Terra wasn't a very good gun, but then again they did buff some bad weapons quite considerably when they put them in Borderlands 3 like the Flacker, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Now, since this is a Torg weapon, you don't want to be too close to the enemies you hit with it because you'll blow yourself up. You want to stand a good distance away. Also, since it only comes in fire, you'll only be able to effectively use it against red health bar enemies. That's most of the enemies in the game, so it's not like that's really a problem anyway. While using this weapon, I found that it was incredibly good at taking out big groups of enemies due to how the pellets travel, as long as the group is standing in a line of sorts. My favorite places to use this weapon were the Circle of Slaughter arenas, since the enemy tends to spawn in big groups. So with this weapon, it was very easy to clear them out before they could do anything. The Circle of Slaughter on Promethea was my absolute favorite to use this weapon in, since nearly all of the enemies are red bar enemies. A few yellow bars can spawn, but that's it. No enemies spawn with barriers or anything. Also another reason I downright love this weapon is because it is so good on Blast Master Mose. Since it is a Torg weapon, it does do area of effect damage. So Blast Master Mose buffs the weapon up a ton. And I found myself absolutely tearing through waves and waves of enemies. So if you play Blast Master Mose, I definitely recommend doing the quest and picking up the weapon. If you happen to have a fire flacker, you don't really need this weapon unless you like the way it fires, or you find yourself dying to your own flacker a lot. Killing yourself with the chomper is a lot harder without a doubt. Now fair warning, you can probably tell by the gameplay, it is kinda hard to see when using this weapon. Makes a lot of big explosions, and I found myself looking for health bars to fire at since I really couldn't see the enemies half the time. You get used to it, but I do want to guess that some will find it annoying and it'll end up turning them away from the weapon. Anyway, feel free to let me know what you guys think of the weapon down in the comments below. And that's pretty much it guys, I want to thank you all for watching, I very much appreciate it, and I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye!